Gramophone Ghana is a choral and classical music production organization that seeks to revolutionize choral music in Ghana. Hello, we want to welcome you to Fellowship of Songs, FOS, brought to you by Gramophone Ghana featuring Gramophone Chorus. Gramophone, for the love of Jesus, that is how we greet here at Gramophone Ghana. It is a privilege for us to have a fellowship one more time, even in this environment. It is not the usual means by which you have fellowship, but because of COVID, we have to do it virtually. But we thank God that we can do it in spite of the situation we find ourselves in. We welcome you to participate in the singing, to listen carefully to the sermonette, take opportunity to give and be blessed. We also trust that you are going to share this fellowship with your family and that whatever God intended to bring your way through this fellowship, you are going to benefit from it fully. Shall we have a word of prayer? Our dear Lord and Master, we thank you for this opportunity to meet one more time. We are grateful that we can have this fellowship. We pray that you would come and have your own way. Be with the choir, breathe life into them as they sing. Breathe life into the sermonette that's going to be shared. Lord God, and as we give, may we be blessed. Let it be that today no one participating in this fellowship will remain the same. May you cause your presence to fill their homes and everywhere that they find themselves now. Even them that are nowhere, let it be that you minister healing to them through this. Let it be what you have purposed for us will be achieved. We thank you in Jesus' name. So one more time we welcome you. The theme for this FOS is assurance. In these times we do indeed need assurance. Assurance that God is with us. Assurance that he's not left us. Assurance that Corona will not have the last word. We trust that you will leave this fellowship at the end of it all with this same assurance that God is with us and he will have the final say. Welcome to Epos. Shall we now welcome the gramophone chorus under the direction of Theophila Samwajedu? Show us love, 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 love
The church is marked by the faithful and regular preaching of God's word from the Bible. It is also marked by the baptism of believers as an expression of our identity with Christ in his death and his resurrection and as an expression of our commitment to live a life of being dead to sin and alive to righteousness, the new birth. It is also marked by the celebration of the Lord's Supper, the Holy Communion, the one holy food we partake of to remember the death of Christ till he comes. Shall we enter into a time of prayer? He who has been with us in time past is with us and will be with us going forward. So shall we thank him? Thank him for the assurance. He who said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, he is with us. Thank you. Say thank you for your presence with me. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for all that you have done for me in spite of the situation we find ourselves in. 
thank you that even though I have lost my job, I am still alive and have the hope of work again. Thank him that when people contracted a disease, you were spared, not because of any goodness of your own. Thank the Lord. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. He is worthy of praise. He is worthy of thanks. He is worthy of adoration. Let it all rise from within your heart to him. To him alone who is worthy to receive praise and honor and adoration and thanks. He is the Lord our Lord. Bless his holy name. Shall we continue to pray and ask that you forgive us for the times when we didn't stay safe, stay faithful to him, for the times when we were not following him, for the times when we failed him and we knew we had failed him, yet he was with us. The Bible says if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He is a faithful God. If we confess, He will forgive us. Confess the sins, your sin, that of your family, friends, loved ones. Within the nation, God, ask the Lord to forgive us and wash us and cleanse us and purify us. Take away anything that could be a stepping stone for the evil one in our lives as that he himself will take absolute control.
and cleanses. That is his promise. Thank him for answered prayer on this one too, that he has forgiven you, that he has washed you, that he has cleansed you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we want to continue to pray that he who has kept us will continue to be with us in imprint in our hearts the assurance that he will not forsake us nor leave us. Pray that the Lord himself will make a way for you, that what you have lost because of this coronavirus you will regain in multiple folds. Pray that what nations have lost in the economy, what Ghana has lost in terms of jobs and all that, the Lord himself shall pour again upon us the rains of revival for the economy, the rains of revival on, our, on education, on every aspect of our lives, the Lord himself shall revive us one more time and breathe life into us. He himself shall cause his blessing to be upon us. Pray that homes that have been devastated because of coronavirus shall be rebuilt again by the presence and power of the Most High God. Pray that the Lord himself shall restore us. He who assures us that he will not leave us nor, forgive, nor forsake us. Pray that he shall rebuild us again. Cause us to stand one more time and not because of any strength of our own but because of his divine providence, because of the speed that he is going to bring into our lives, that what we lost over many months we shall regain in a short time. Pray for yourself, pray for your family, pray for your friends, pray for your loved ones.
Blanca Keo Vaya Anagaro Jola Hayam Dola Lovai Amaroku Kohiado Vamia Padam Gakani Kemia Tanglo in Yaba Yehoa Vamia Yopomiaji Yo Labanami Heyemi Galab La Hajijiyama Neba Yehoa Nyamiapa Jidapoga Yepoa Miaji Ye mangula mi po ye la ba fiafito ya glena ye ho wa ba magang lombo na na don kujinya le ji fo fia du fama mi na mi atu ka ye ho wa mi saka ka to le ma vo ma u a we ne ha ka ya ma fa go ma ja ja le yo nu ye ho wa mi afa ba to to ra nya ba magang lombi po Nina no voa lao, a canebia batum rabba, na don cumiaji, e na vamiano, lanca cayasu so, la payamo, la wonco yamo, near the bara. Shall we bring our prayer to a close? Our dear Lord and Master, so we want to thank you for this opportunity to come before you. This is the assurance we have in approaching you, that if we pray according to your will, you hear us. And if you hear us, then we know that whatever we ask for, we receive. So indeed, we have prayed for our nation, Ghana. We have prayed for people and homes that have lost so much because of coronavirus. We pray for restoration. We pray that you will cause us to be restored with speed and finality. Execute your word concerning us. Bless us in ways that will make us even forget what we have lost. Let this nation, O oh Lord God, move forward under your direction. Choose for us a leader even as you go to the polls in, in, in three months. Let your will alone be done. Let your peace prevail. Let not anything that is contrary to your will ever come to pass. And Lord God, let it be that we'll have peace reigning in our hearts, homes, in this nation, and everything that concerns us. We thank you for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Hello, I am Petra Abba Samoa, and I'll be delivering today's sermonette. Our theme for today is assurance, and our key scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians 1, 9 and 10. Yes, we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, who raises the dead, who delivered us from so great a death, and does deliver us, in whom we trust that he will still deliver us. To be able to understand these verses, we need to understand a bit of Paul's context. Paul was writing to the Corinthian church, and in the introductory part of his letter, he was giving thanks for the many troubles that he had encountered. Paul, in, in this scripture, suggests that we avert our mind to three key things. First of all, he recognized the difficult situation that he was in. He wasn't in denial. Secondly, he mentions that belief in self or trust in self was futile. And the third and most important thing, he makes a statement of assurance that God, who has delivered in the past, continues to deliver and will deliver in the future. These three things are very important for us. As we live in these uncertain times, we should recognize that we cannot discount the fact that indeed we are in tough times. Some of us may have lost jobs, others may be experiencing reduced income or separation from family and loved ones. In spite of what we are going through, Paul's admonition to us is that we cannot rely on ourselves. But he makes us aware that we do have an assurance, a dependable God. Our Heavenly Father has a track record of being someone that we can rely on. 
Remember that very difficult situation you were in? That tough situation you didn't think you would survive? Well, he delivered you. He's still in the business of delivering you today, and he will always deliver us in the future. Corrie Ten Boone, a Christian woman who survived living in a Nazi concentration camp during the Second World War and lived to tell her story, puts it this way. In order to realize the worth of the anchor, you need to feel the stress of the storm. The beautiful story of our lives that are currently unfolding may seem delayed or even distracted. But one of the things we have to remember is that in spite of the tough times that we find ourselves, we have an assurance. Our God is our anchor and he will always see us through. It doesn't matter what we are going through now. I encourage you that just like Paul said, he recognized the situation was difficult, but he also affirmed that we have an assurance of our God who has delivered us in the past, delivers us today, and will deliver us in the future. It is well. God bless you.
is over and we want to say a big thank you for making time with us god bless you we trust you have been blessed through the ministration through the sermonettes through the hymns through the high lives god bless you so much for joining us our first thanks goes to god for making this a success for giving us the idea for this initiative we also want to say thank you to our media team our video team which is excelsis limited and to our audio crew Mr. Franklin Eliblu, God bless you so much, sir, for your kindness. We also want to say thank you to Mrs. Petra Abba Asamoa for the sermonets. Thank you, ma'am. You have been so amazing. God bless you. And to Dr. Clement Apa, thank you so much, Doc, for your support. And to the choristers, God bless each and every one of you, your family, your spouses, your parents. Thank you so much for allowing them to be a part of this 
virtual FOS. I want to say that if you want to support us, please, our Momo number is on the screen. No amount is too small. We'll be grateful for your support. Thank you so much for your support. Stay safe and hope to see you in person soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Pamela, for thanking us. Um, we want to indeed thank all of you all over the world who joined us, especially those who joined us for the first time. It's been a privilege and we don't take it for granted. Thank you. Continue to follow us on our various platforms at Gramophone Ghana, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. As we come to an end, we want to say a word of prayer. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this opportunity to meet one more time. Thank you for the fellowship we have shared. Thank you for the sermon. Thank you for the music. Thank you for all who made this possible, the media team and all. We pray that let your presence continue to abide with us, be with us in our homes and fulfill your word concerning us. Thank you. Thank you for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. people. Thank you for watching. My name is Theophila Samwajedu and I'm the director of the production you have just watched. It's a shame that we can't be with you live, but we thank God for the power of technology that allows us to come to you in your homes via YouTube and on Facebook. It is our prayer that until we meet again, may the Lord hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen. Oh,